Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Animal Prison. Today, I'm going to be checking out Back to the Dawn. In Back to the Dawn, you play the role of a framed journalist with one major goal. Get out of prison by any means necessary. Now, Spiral Up Games was nice enough to sponsor this first episode. If at any time you want to learn more about or purchase this game, I'll have a link at the top of the video description where you can go to the Steam page. The game just released on November 3rd, and Spiral Up Games has a bunch of release events going on on Twitter as well, so be sure to check that out. Link will also be in the description. Now, let's waste no time, get into it, and get locked up. All right, well, who are we going to be? Well, we actually have one choice because we have to play as Thomas before we can do Black Panther Bob, which is a bit of a bummer because, as you can see, this guy is much stronger. I think I want to go as the muscle bro in prison, so we are going to be working on that strength a little bit because I'm not not too uh, scary looking right now. Okay, so we do have a backstory as well. This actually changes all of your stats, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm going to probably be fighting a lot, so I'm going to go for a war correspondent, which gives me plus eight health. I'm not sure if that's good or not, uh, but I also have weapon practice. So yes, this gives me strength as well, and my armor type changes to thick fur. I got some thick fur. <laughs> This game's going to be pretty detailed if my armor is thick fur. Nightmare can't automatically be forgotten. Oh, great. We can get nightmares. Um, So because I've been in war, I got PTSD, basically. It's telling me. Great. All right. Well, let's waste no time. Get into it. All right. Well, a little bit of a backstory. As you can see, I am a newscaster. We're at a river near Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Road. Talking with one of the local residents, obviously the chemical plant is ruining the ecosystem. Shocker, the government is doing nothing because uh, the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. Uh, isn't capitalism great? Is this tragic situation the result of illegal sewage dumping? I have a feeling this is why I'm going to jail because I'm uh, covering something like this. All right, looks like uh, I'm Thomas the Fox, Woodpecker TV reporting live from... Okay, so this is the end of that segment. Excellent interview, Mr. Big Shot Reporter. I'm sure you didn't ask me just to watch the video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The elections are just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant, but the mayor wasn't aware of the fact and a not so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report and avoid any further misunderstandings. Ah, uh, I'm just doing my job, my dude. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work, but there's more to life than work. Far more. A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. All right. So, yeah, he's. I think he's trying to, you know, warn me. Kong the briefcase. Oh, is he going to try and buy me? I mean, I'll take it. That looks like a lot of money. All right. So I asked if he's trying to buy me. You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. Sure, buddy. Some of your talent work as a TV reporter. Such a waste. All right. Do I take the money or do I decline? I don't think any of these is going to go well. I'm going to stick to my guns and decline. I'm not for sale. How unfortunate. All right. He was doing some more warnings and uh, he's letting me leave. So take care. Have a nice day. I don't feel like this is going to go well. I mean, this is a prison game after all. <laughs> all right. The price of justice. Here we are on the streets and shocker police pulls up already. <laughs> it's all dogs. Is this your car? Yes. Is there a problem officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Okay. Okay. Look at his little mug looking at me in the freaking window. He's he's loving this. I didn't even see him till now. All right, my car is being searched by dogs now. This is this is a weird game. I love that everything's an animal. I found it. He was hiding something. Oh, great. They have planted a bag on me. It looks like grade A stuff. This is a setup. Shut your mouth and save it for the station. And well, that's how it starts. <laughs> what a great day. This calls for another cup. All right, well, we're in cell block day. We have 21 days until the mayoral election. Uh, so I'm assuming that's how long I got to figure out how to deal with this situation that we got. I love this art style. This like 2D slash 3D art style uh, that some games do is just fantastic. Stand at attention. Listen good, fish. I'm not a fish, I'm a fox. I am Captain Bruce and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? I understand. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. All right, heading back to my cell. Looks like this is where I'm going to stay for a while. Looks like I have a donkey as a roommate, so that's going to be fun. 
Before you go in, one last thing. Headcount is at the lobby at 8. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight. All right. Well, I think for the start of this game, I'm just going to take my time, explore, and see what kind of stuff we can get into. This game is supposed to be remarkably in-depth. Uh, you're going to have relationships with different gangs, different people, and I just want to take my time and not do anything too stupid at the start. All right. looks like I haven't met with my lawyer yet. I don't know how the appeal is progress. I need to contact him ASAP. Okay, so I guess that's goal net number one. Contact my lawyer. All right. Hello, fellow uh, Bunky. Is that what they're called? Uh, hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Hopefully this guy's nice. I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. Uh, I work in TV. Let's be vague. No wonder you look familiar. I might have seen you on your show. Huh. It looks like we have a nice bunkie. I thought he was going to beat me up and try and steal all my money or something. And I do have 50 bucks right now. How do I contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me. Or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. All right, so I can try the payphone after headcount. I guess until then, we just need to explore and see what else we can find here. All right, I have a table that I can use as a simple workbench. I'm assuming to craft weapons or whatever I may need. I found a prison schedule, so that's good. What's cool is uh, there is uh, storage in this, but there's also hidden storage. So it looks like we can possibly unlock more. So if I do have any contraband, at least I know I can hide it in my cell and it shouldn't be uh, stolen. Uh, so that is very much good. All right, I think that's pretty much it for my cell. So do I want to go to head count yet? I guess that's pretty much it for here. So yeah, we'll go to head count and start our day. All right, looks like I made it in time. We have different colored inmates. Oh my God, this Shiba police officer is so cute. Oh, I can't take this game seriously because all the adorable animals. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. Uh, to enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep in the prison officer's work assignments, there are still vacancies in the laundry room. Okay, so if we need money, we can work at laundry. I'm assuming it's not much. I think I might try and do that. Generally, you might be able to find some items in laundry rooms. I feel like that's a good place to start. And headcount was fine, so we didn't get in trouble or anything like that. Looks like we have the payphone here. As my bunkie said, there's usually a line, so I'm gonna just, I guess, wait. It's been so long, did you... Show my script to the director or not. Ooh. All right, so this guy's trying to be an actor. Might be able to use my journalism as an advantage here. All right, I can pay him to go persu persuade him to leave. Uh, I need money for the phone, and I'm assuming it's not going to be cheap. So let's try and persuade. I need an eight. Oh, great. I got a three. One focus point uh, to re-roll. How much do I get a day? Okay, so I have five. Um, Let's try again. Yes! Oh, critical success. Get the hell out of my way. I was finished anyways. God damn, you're right. His name's Rudolph. <laughs> Hello, inmate. 1220, you can make two more calls today. You will be charged $10 per call and a $90 service charge will be added on your first call. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I do not have $100. How do we earn money? Well, we know one way so far, and that's by working for this guy. What is that thing in the corner? What, is, what are you? Keep it down or you'll scare them. There's no one else here. All the little elves. Can't you see them dancing on the tip of my nose? You're high as a kite. You're hallucinating. Oh, great. I am now friends with the drug addicted sheep or alpaca. <laughs> oh, man. It's all up from here. That was my first friend. The guy uh, tripping out in the corner. Okay. I'm supposed to talk to this guy, I believe. What is it? Uh, ask about work. All right, so I got to actually fill out a form. Uh, I can work on the roof site if I get good conduct credits. I have zero right now, so all I can do is the laundry room. This game is so detailed. I'm so excited for this. All right, from now on, you can work in the laundry room. Yay! This guy's warning me about getting my head blown off. This guy's a bit extreme. I mean, he is a prison guard or whatever, so I'm not shocked. Uh, what's going on here? These guys seem to be hanging out together. I feel like I need to get a group, you know? Okay, these guys are all alcoholics so maybe not a good idea why am i getting all the drug addicts oh wait they can turn their alcohol to molotov cocktails okay now now we're getting somewhere oh I <laughs> so yeah just listening in i've learned how to make molotov cocktails now i love that you have to find your skills and then you can enable them so i guess we'll enable that i might be able to make that if i find the ingredients I'm not really sure what where I'm going right now. This is a, r a really fun start because I have no idea what to do. I guess we should go to laundry because uh, it's not uh, lunchtime yet. And this will be a good time to work to earn some money. 
Oh, wait. I guess I can't go work because I, I can't find a health certificate. Where do I get that? You have to go to the infirmary uh, for a physical. Oh, great. Okay. All right. This cop seems a little more chill, which is good for me. I'm here for a physical. The doc's in the consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay here too long. Okay. Well, I guess we are kind of on our own right now. Is this... Okay, this is a guy sleeping. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Hold on. There's got to be something we can find here. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Something to search. Uh, what are... A lumber? Oh, it's a weapon? Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, tape. Tape always comes in handy. And pressure bandage. Well, that's a jackpot if I do say so myself. You're not going to snitch on me, are you? All right, this guy's been here five years. As someone who knows a thing or two, let me give you a piece of advice. I already like this guy. I can get all sorts of good stuff like alcohol and painkillers. Well, I can make Molotov, so Fernando might be a smart idea to have on my side. All right, well, just like that, Fernando, or Fernando is my friend. I have a friend booklet, evidently. <laughs> okay, maybe I should go in. I think we got pretty much everything we needed here. Examine the lock? Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I'm, I think I'm going too deep right now. Obviously, I can break into this place if I find the code, but let's worry about that later because I don't even know why I would want to come in here. Oh my god, this dog is adorable. I'm Beth. From your records, this is your first time. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all the inmates, elements big and small. Every day I leave at 1730 sharp. Maybe I should write that down because I can go in here if I can figure out the code. And I do see a computer over here, so I wonder. Guess I'm getting a vaccination just in case. Uh, I'll just get it from the pharmacy. Oh, don't touch anything on the instrument tray. I can tell if anything's missing. Can you now? I don't know if I believe that or not, but I I probably shouldn't do much. I do want to get up and explore, though, so I can't touch that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There might be some useful information on this computer. Give me the password. Give me the password. 72% chance? Hell yeah, dude. Come on. Target of six. Damn right, man. Damn right. There seems to be something in this folder. Browse medical records, check the emails, leave. Oh, what do I do? Emails. Payo Hub? Swan Island registration to Aunt Mel to the little... Oh, right. I don't know who this is, but yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Oh, great. This is just uh, cheating relationship drama. Let's actually go back and let's do medical records. Tim the Sloth, chronic skin condition, requires injections every Monday to Friday. Dude, I... Okay, type 1 diabetes. I don't know why you would need to know any of this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was very dependent on him. After all, we've been together on and off since college. I even used his birthday as the code for the consultation room door. So, Toby, whatever Toby's birthday is... I gotta write this crap down. Uh, is the code for the door. Oh, it's her birthday, not Toby's. Okay. Um, how do I figure out her birthday? God damn it. All right, but I think that's pretty much it for here. We're going to sit and wait for her, and maybe we can figure out her birthday. Give gift. I mean, do you want a piece of wood? Because that's all I got. Um, oh, I actually have a lot of stuff. Have a cookie. There you go. Appreciate the thought. You're 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 welcome. God damn it, just tell me your birthday. All right, well, at least we know if we can get her birthday, we got the code. But yeah, I couldn't I couldn't uh, get the birthday from her. Is there a plaque here with her, her, her name on it or something? No, I already looked at that. I don't know. We'll figure out her birthday one day. All right, well, we're going to head back, and we got a little, a little bit of information there, at least, so that wasn't totally wasted. It's not even lunchtime yet, so it looks like we can go work after all as well. All right, laundry room. Looks like we do have an open uh, ironing board here. There is a lot to explore, though. Now get to work. Okay, uh, piece of one pants. The ironing time is 10 minutes. Okay, so the meter disappears after three seconds, and we essentially have to get it close to 10 as possible. Okay, so this is pretty interesting, actually. So we start it. And is it going to go away? Yes. Uh, oh, I should have been counting. Damn it. I'm going to say now. Damn it. All right, I actually have to focus with this. Nine minutes or seconds in this game. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, much better. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I get paid based on how good I am at this. This is a pretty cool game. And done. Oh, almost perfect. Okay. I think I found my calling. It's ironing. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I actually did so bad on the pants. I didn't get paid anything. But if we get a star, we get paid 15 bucks per item. So that's pretty cool. I got 25 bucks right there. And I still have time before work. So you know what? We need to have the $100 for that call. So let's do it now. 
Oh, so close. Two. Two milliseconds. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> I got two stars for sure that round, though. There we go. That's a good payday. And it's past lunch. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. We should probably leave. All right, this place doesn't look bad. I hope the taste doesn't disappoint. Okay. I think, you know what? I have 150 bucks. Let's have some pumpkin porridge today. Uh, which is going to help my stats even more. Now, the big question is, where do I sit? This is very important. I feel like nobody wants to screw with an elephant. I mean, they're nice, they're giant, they're horrifying. So I'm going to chill with this guy, see if we can uh, get on his good side. Table mate Jumbo, request apple pie, 3%. <laughs> he is not giving me his pie. You know what? Should I share my lunch with him? Would you like some pumpkin porridge? I can give you half. Half? Looks like you know your place, little fishy. Come on, man. I spent money on that. I was trying to be nice to you. You call me little fishy? I think he's going to be a hard elephant to crack, but uh, I think that was a good idea. I feel like having an elephant on my side is a good idea. I think we're just going to leave recreation. Oh, it, damn it. I should have stayed. It went all the way to 1300. I thought I could explore a bit before a recreation, but it looks like not. Afternoon is recreation time. I can finally get some fresh air, but the yard looks pretty small. There's a map on the fence. Check it out. Okay. What do we got here? We got cafeteria, which we just left. Basketball court. Chapel. Interesting. The weight pit, bleachers, toilet. Yeah, so there really isn't much, but I definitely want to do some exploration right now. Ah, it's the investor koala. Oh, I guess I can't talk to him. Oh, what do you want, Crunchy? Oh, God. Are you talking to me? Of course. Who else would I be talking to? The koala, obviously. What do you want? I didn't have enough for lunch. I want to buy some snacks from the machine, but I'm out of money. Give me half the money in your pocket and I'll let you pass through here. Half the money? I worked hard for that, you little jerk. I'll teach you some prison etiquette. Teach a real hard. Okay, so I guess I have to either fight or give him half. You know, it's my first day. I can't show that I'm a weakling. So fighting is no joke. Should I really do it? Oh, now, now you're making me second guess myself. <laughs> it's warning me. It's warning me because they know it's a bad idea. I'm freaking doing it. I don't care. You just messed with the wrong guy. Dude, look at how weak I am. I am screwed. If you can take half my health, I'll let you go for today. Okay, at least he's giving me a chance. Half his health. I don't even know how to fight. What the hell are we doing? Oh, God. I have higher agility, so I get to go first. Damn right I do. Wait, he, he went first. What the hell was that? Oh, God. Oh, this is more in-depth than I thought. Oh, thank God I grabbed the lumber board, though. Get out the lumber, baby. Take that. Nine hit points. Oh my god, he just punched me for 21. I am screwed. I'm dead. All right, fighting moves. I don't have any fighting moves. Great. Why did I decide to fight? This is my first day. I haven't trained at all. Use item. I do have bandages and cloth wraps. Okay. Well, let's go back to the old lumber. Ooh, 11. Okay, I just got to drop him to half. I just got to survive and drop him to half. I think I think we can do this. What did he just do? Why, why is he rolling dice? Oh, he gained plus four health. So yeah, I'm going to use the bandage wrap that's better than the cloth wrap because for the next turn, uh, two turns, I heal by an amount equal to the intelligence at the beginning of each turn. Dude, this is in-depth. Like, real in-depth. Uh, so that's slightly better depending on my roll. That's a decent roll. Plus eight health. Bleed has been removed. And I'm also going to heal every round. Now, my stamina is pretty low, so I have to worry about that. But... I think, I think, I think we got it. Okay, I just, I have, I have no stamina now, so I'm gonna have to rest this turn, gain some stamina back, and please just don't do like 43 damage. God damn it, how is he healing every round? Doing sand throw? What the hell is sand throw? That didn't hurt. Oh, I'm blind. You're blinded by sand. Your hit rate has been reduced by 15%. Well, I've hit every time. Let's keep hitting, baby. <gasps> That's right. You don't screw with the fox. That's right. I earned my respect, Crunchy. That's all for today. You'll be seeing me again real soon. Guess I'm gonna have to pump iron because I got really lucky there, I feel like. All right, well, here we are at the, uh, well, it looks like the basketball area. There are some plants growing on the ground. Surely no one mind if I pick these up, right? Ah, and here's where I wanted. Uh, looks like we do have an open bench. Nice, so I'm just gonna so give this a try. Wanna use the bench press? Oh no, what's going on? This is Bigfoot gang ter territory. We're in charge here. Anyone from another gang who wants to work out has to pay a fee. Either pay up or take a hike. This is why I didn't join the other gang. How much does it cost? I don't even know how much I paid. Okay, 20. Press the space bar to start. Let's, let's not waste this money. S. Oh, my God. A. Oh, my God. I. Oh, God. I, I'm i sorry. I'm sorry. I, I hit all the wrong buttons. There we go. D, D. I'm so bad at typing. Oh, my God. I'm so bad. W, S, D, A. W, A, A. S. This is pretty cool, actually. Q-S-S-E. 
I, I don't think I'm going to get much more. Ah, I screwed up. Well, that, that sucked. I did six. Pretty average indeed. One more time. I don't have enough stamina. Damn it. Well, I don't know if that was worth it or not. Hold on. It's the elephant again. I gave him half my food. Is he part of this gang? Yes, it is. Learn about gang quests. Learn about the gang store. Join the Bigfoot gang. I need 100 gang trust to join. All right. So I'm assuming we get that from quests. Wow. This might be a, a bit rough. I get 130 rep though. I have to uh, essentially take the heat because Walter the skunk cooked up a batch and uh, he snitched to the guards. So if I take the heat, it... it goes off the gang i mean it's easy to do i don't know what happens if i take the heat i think i want to get in good with these guys because i want to train my strength a lot and obviously i don't want to pay 20 dollars every time i use the bench all right so my stamina is low so i'm just gonna rest for the rest of the day uh just to gain some stamina for nighttime activities which could be interesting i have no idea this is my first day well 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 isn't this the guy i'm supposed to fess up to uh yep turn myself in i beat up walter it doesn't matter. A win's a win. He doesn't give a damn. Now, listen, good fish. Inmate 1220 Thomas the Fox. According to prison rules, assault with a weapon is punishable by six hours of segregation. That's not as bad as I thought. Okay. All right. Well, here we are. I guess we're going to be here for six hours. Oh, God damn it. He's going to frisk me. I still have that board on me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. How am I going to hide a board? I'm not hiding a board. Damn it. Um, Do I re-roll? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, baby. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. You're a lot cleaner than I expected. I don't even know if I'd get in trouble for the board, but I'm assuming I would. All right. Well, this is life now. Uh, but at least I'm getting good with the gang that I want to get good with. Brush my teeth. No toothbrush. <laughs> I guess I can't brush my teeth then. Well, it's a good thing I can space out. Unfortunately, that makes me lose my mind a bit. But there's not anything else I can do here. So I guess I'm dropping my sanity a little bit. Just waiting. All right, we're back in my cell. I'm not sure where my bunkie is. He might be asleep in bed. Um, I'm going to see if I can craft anything. All right, so yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can craft. Ooh, I can make a mint roll up. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Yeah, we'll, we'll craft some of those. All right, good morning. I'm going to eat a little bit just to satisfy my hunger. As you can see, my sanity is quite low, and I do have my lumber, actually. It's equipped on me. I am smelly, so hopefully I can get a shower today. We didn't get shower yesterday, which is a little unfortunate. Got to do a doo-doo. There we go. I always forget to flush. That's kind of gross, dude. Sounds like my toilet's leaking. Interesting. Investigate the leak. I'm very curious. Maybe I can find a way to, like, break out with this. I think I found the cause. It seems that the screws securing the toilet are loose, so the water in the pipe behind the wall is seeping in. Since the screws are loose, it might be possible to remove the entire toilet. Then I can go through the hole and get into the pipe area behind the wall. There should be passageways all over the inside and no guards patrolling. This should be a good starting point if I want to get out and about. Prepare to disassemble. Uh, about tools. I need a disassembly tool to undo the screws. Look at the notch top. Maybe I could try using a coin. I have a coin. But it would be much more efficient if I craft some more suitable tools. Time requirement. I guess we're going to go look and see. There are people coming and going in the corridor all day. I'd almost certainly be discovered. After lockdown, would be best time to do it. Once it's disassembled, there's still a problem. The guards patrolling at night, although they just go throughout the motions, but it'll be way too obvious that there's not even anyone in the bed. Just to be on the safe side, I should use a pillow to make a dummy. Okay. God damn it. Every time I try and get to the phone. Oh, actually, before that, um, let's go talk to the elephant. All right, and we'll deliver our quest, Fall Guy. I'm out of SAG. Bruce shouldn't make any noise about Walter's beating now. And there we go. A hundred extra bucks. Nice. Uh, I definitely want to continue working with these guys. So let's see what else we not I we need. We need freaking five painkillers. Ooh, well, I, I know if we can get the birth date of the lady in the infirmary, we might be able to get painkillers there. So we got seven days to do that. All right, if I persuade this guy to leave, I have a 3% chance. I'm a gambler, but not that much of a chance. I'm just going to pay him 30 bucks. I'm rich now. Who the hell cares? I'm going to lose all my money here, though. But I can finally talk to my lawyer. All right, six, four. Four, five, eight, zero. So how are things going with the case? I was just about to tell you the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was the pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. Great. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal. But as you know, the mayor election is in 20 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. But don't lose heart. I have some good news. Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I know you've fallen for it a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. So that was a real call. 
Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called Baroness. My investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connections with the mayor. But I can't explain properly over the phone. We need to meet in person. Only you may have to wait a few days. All right, so I talked to the guard about visitation. He wants me to go to one of the gang leader cells and grab something, uh, a ledger. And then he'll allow me to uh, go to the top of the list on visitation. So I don't know if that's worth it or not. It's only going to take a few more days. I guess I'll give it a try. All right, so it's in here. This is B2I. Bruce said the ledger should be here. Although, do I really want to steal it from him? This cell belongs to the boss of the Black Claw gang. Oh, do I get the gang mad? I think I'm going to reconsider for right now. I don't like this idea. I don't mind waiting a couple days because I'm kind of on this anteater quest anyways. And I want to get in good with the gangs. So obviously, if we can get on the gang's good side, life's going to be a lot easier in prison. All right, did a bit of ironing. That uh, gave me a little bit of money. There's this chemical mixing station here, but if I'm in this room, I take damage. So I'm wondering if I get a paid a lot more. Yeah, okay, so he needs a recipe. Uh, there we go. Right here. Perfect. I don't want to waste time in this room. About the new recipe. Oh, I only get paid on the new recipe. I better not get it mixed up. Okay, so yeah, I can craft rust remover with the old recipe or mix the detergent. Let's mix the detergent. That gives me an 8 plus 16. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Continue. All right, so it looks like I just have to roll until I get all 50. The higher the roll, the better it is. 17. Oh, come on. And I've taken a little bit of damage, as you can see. We just got to get two more. That has done it. I can't feel my arms. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. All right, while we're in here, I mean, this is a chemical storage room, so it's probably smart to try and grab some stuff. No chemicals, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, that led nowhere. Let's get back to uh, ironing just to earn some cash. <gasps> I did a perfect! Oh, I'm amazing! <laughs> I found my calling. It's ironing in this game. I'm I'm going to get rich just by doing this. Well, the big question is, do I get paid more for a perfect? I'm very curious. This is all I wanted to know. Oh, yes. I get a 30. Dude, perfect is so impossible to do. But that's a pretty good payday. Uh, I think I'm just going to do one more iron just so we go right into lunchtime. Oh, actually, I've used all my stamina because, you know, that's kind of hard to do. Damn it. All right. Well, I actually got a quest done. The one of the inmates wanted to propose for, to their girlfriend and they wanted some plants that I had. So that was an extra hundred dollars. This is a great way for money. Screw doing ironing. What else do we have here? A foot fetish? Nice. OK, we need sandals for that. Um, I can assault Diego, which was the guy that was tweaking at the start of this episode for one hundred and fifty. All right, we'll accept that. <laughs> I mean, I've already beat up one person and I have been working on my strength a bit. I actually got enough strength to get my first uh, ability. I think I'm going to go for counter attack. Take a stance until the end of the fight. When you're hit by an opponent, there's a 40% chance of returning an unarmed attack. Uh, sounds pretty good. So we'll throw that on. What the hell did I just stumble upon? There's a, like a hidden boxing ring. This is so cool. Oh, it's betting on boxing. Yes, I would love to. I love freaking gambling. This is like legit boxing. You can look at their stats and everything. You can even see their inventory. I feel like I could get intel here even without betting. Unfortunately, the match doesn't happen till tomorrow. Odds are slightly in Bill's favor, it looks like. I think that's how that works anyway. So I'm going to bet on Joseph to win. I'll bet 50 bucks. And he laughed at me. Look at your betting slip. You can use it as a free ticket on fight day. <laughs> so tomorrow I can watch this if I want. That's great. Ah, Diego. Now might be my chance, buddy. Uh, let's have a little chat. He's still whacked out of his gourd. How do, how do I fight him? Oh, I have to right click. Ha <laughs> ha. You have lower agility? Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh, he's got more health than me too. This is bad. This is bad. He's got counter attack like me? I'm also going to turn on counter attack. This guy knows how to fight. Damn it. I, I, I screwed up. Look behind you. Don't, don't, don't do it. Oh, you idiot. That removed my counter attack. He didn't hit me though. So again, we have to, oh, it's on cooldown. Wow, this guy really screwed me up. All right, well, take a board to the face. That's my my only chance of winning. Okay, he does less damage than me. I also stunned him with my board. Wow, the fighting is really in depth. Damn it, he dodged it. Oh, he, I knew he had the scissors. Whoa. I think I made a mistake here. Oh, ooh, a 13. Holy crap, 23 to 18. Well, oh, don't do it again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Do I go for the dice roll and heal? I think I'm going to do it. Cloth wrap time. Come on. Give me a high, high number. That's not awful. That's not awful. Plus four. I thought it was higher than that. Crap. Okay. He did counterattack again. That's fine. 
Uh, I think I have to go for unarmed attacks now. Oh, God, it's so close. Oh, no. Oh, he's resting. He's resting. Oh, can I hit an eight? I think I can. Please, 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 please. Holy crap. Oh, that was, I was on the edge of my seat. I almost died to a junkie. Get wrecked, Diego. Oh, that was so close. That was so freaking close, man. All the commotion is bound to make the guards come running. I better just get out of here. All right. Should I just search him? I feel like he's going to have some good stuff on him. Yeah, screw it. I knew it. I knew the junkie would have painkillers. There is three of the five that I need. I'm going to continue searching. Screw it. I don't care if I get caught. Okay. And I have a 17% chance to escape. Damn it. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have did the second search. Come on, please, 10. Please, for the love of God. Reroll, baby. Come on, give me a 10. Well, I guess we're caught. Does that mean I lose my friggin' painkillers? Back to six hours of segregation I go. Do I lose my painkillers, though? That's all I care about, because if I didn't lose my painkillers, well worth it. Drop a little bit of sanity for that, I'm fine. <gasps> okay, yeah, he has to frisk me. Please, for the love of God, be frisked. Uh, agility test. This is the test of agility. Plus one points per agility. Guilty burden. All right, well, let's see what happens. 28%. Please, please, nine. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I'm so lucky. I got my painkillers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I may be in segregation, but that was a complete success in my mind. We got the three out of the five painkillers I need. I beat it up the guy, so I'm working better with that gang. And yeah, I mean, things are going pretty well considering we've only been in jail for, or sorry, prison for two days. So I think this is a good time to end this episode of Back to the Dawn. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It's remarkably in-depth, and I'm kind of, uh invested in how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. I mean, I have a few leads, but nothing anywhere near success just yet. So once again, I want to thank Spiral Up Games for sponsoring this episode. If you want to know more about it, as I said, there'll be a link at the top of the video description. If you guys want to see more of this as well, let me know, because obviously we're only scratching the surface in this episode. And uh, yeah, would love to see if we can escape this place. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.